Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Peace of Mind. And as you can see, I've started building my house. It's um it's not too bad. I did crash a couple of times while I was building it. I'm not sure why. I couldn't see an obvious reason as to why I kept crashing, but we'll see how it goes in this episode. And also, um, I took out the inventory pet. Where is it? This one, dirt pet. Because, I mean, it's, it's there. If I'm outside, it's fine. I've discovered when I'm outside, it gives me lots of really cool powers. But as soon as I go anywhere where my head is covered, so whether I go inside or I could um, go inside or if I go underground, so there was a cave somewhere around here I went into and my head was covered, then I'd start getting those nausea, nausea, nausea effects. So for the time being, I've just taken him. For some reason I think it's a him, I don't know why. I've taken it off my hotbar. So then I don't get the awesome benefits, but then I don't get nausea either either it's very hard to speak this morning not quite sure why does that give us oh it gives us dye that is very handy to know so today i want to knock off a few more knock, knock off knock out a few more of the basic quests and i really want to get the antique atlas because we need to start marking off things in the atlas it doesn't have this um, mod pack doesn't have journey map because i really love journey map i need to know where everything is and you know i'm feeling quite lost without it but to make let me see let's go into the quests uh the basics first catch okay i had a raw fish i'm not even sure where i got the raw fish from but let's claim that anyway. Okay, Antique Atlas. So we need to make the empty, empty Antique Atlas. I also want to... Uh, it depends on how much leather we can find. Because we need leather to make a book for the Atlas. We need leather f to make the backpack. We need leather to make the hang glider. So, yeah, we'll see how much leather we can get. Let's open our loot crate. Oh, another beacon. Okay, thank you. Like I said, I've never, I've never made a beacon. Never used a beacon. I don't know what I would do with it. So let's add you to the other beacon we got. And we need, yes, yeah, so we need some leather, and we also need some redstone. So I've got my paxel. And we can go mining underground. Actually, I need to get some food. Do I have... I've got roasted corn, which is a good source of food. Let's see what else we can... No, I don't want the stencil table, thank you. Let's see what else we can find. Um, does this have sandwiches? It has sandwiches from Pam's. Oh, but it has the sandwiches from Tiny Progressions, which I have recently discovered are quite good and they're easy to make. Um, do we have any eggs? We have no eggs. You can do a beef sandwich. Um, it's pretty you can't do a fish sandwich. I think that would be quite nice, actually. And now I'm just making myself hungry. But we need to get some food. All right, let's see if we have any any bread, any wheat. We can we can permanently borrow some wheat from the village. Yeah, uh, see. Put the dirt pet back, so then we can go a little bit faster. Let's see what we have in this food chest. Hopefully, by the next episode, 
I will be able to move into the house be because as I said it just kept crashing I really don't know why I've turned down my render distance oh, we can make some bread and we just need we need some beef so let's go look at see we we just we I think in this episode we just need to find some beef let's kill a sheep but we need some cows and this is where I miss journey map because on journey map it would tell you is that a cow up there? You look like a cow. Yes, you are. It will tell you where all the um, the animals were. Okay, we have... We have five slabs of beef. We've got some raw mutton. And we have four leather. So we have enough to make a book at least. But let's kill a couple more cows. This iron paxel's got quite a lot of um. Ooh, what's these red flowers? Snapdragons. Does that give you red dye? I wonder. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, sheep, you're spared. I'm not seeing any more cows at the moment. I wonder if this is one of those temples. It's like a dungeon. Yes, because we found this the last time. And I've got my slime boots on. <laughs> That's the best thing about slime boots. But it doesn't... Oh, yes, it does. I was just about to say it doesn't go anywhere. But it doesn't... Do you not go anywhere? Oh. Okay. Lots of cobwebs, so, you know, lots of string. What's in the middle here? Obsidian. There's obsidian there. Okay, there's stuff down there. We'll have to come back and have a, a good old explore. But today we are, we are looking for cows. We found the cows. We got some beef, we'll get the beef cooking up, we'll make some sandwiches, and then we'll go looking for some redstone. Uh, furnace, we want to cook up the beef. No, how do you make bread in this? Oh, you either, oh, you need barley. Okay. So the barley makes bread, you turn the bread into sandwiches, and then you can put the bread and the steak. And we've got a beef sandwich. Why are you both staring at me like that? What did I do? So now that we have our boots, we can just... Jump down. Oh, there's some redstone right there. Press shift and that will stop your jump. Because we only... Oh, that is... Und oh, we need... I know we can do that. And I noticed that in this pack, usually, if you have slate, then there's going to be lava around it. Which is a very good way of indicating lava. Do we have any paper? I don't know, we need sugar cane. It's nice to play a mod pack where I don't have to worry about the, the mobs. I don't have to worry about things trying to kill me. Ooh. I like the fish in the water. And especially now in um, 1.13, they've added fish in the game, no mods required. It's a like a nice gentle foreshadowing. I might have to go and raid the library and break the, the book. Yes, we might do that. And also, um, as I remember it, I would like to thank um, Penguinish for pointing out that the in-game audio was very loud in the last episode. Um, yeah, my, usually I play with things turned down a lot, and for some reason I turned it back up, and in-game it sounded fine, but then after I'd rendered the video and everything, it's like, actually, that's a bit loud. So, um, so yeah, so I've turned it all back down again. Is there not a library in this village? 
Are you are you uncultured people and don't have a library? Everywhere has a library. You must have a library. Libraries are the best places ever. Oh, there you go. I take it back. I'm sorry. And, um, yeah, it's going to hurt me to do this, but I need the books. I really need the books. Lock into individual ingots, put them round, and a piece of redstone in the middle, and that gives us our compass. And then we need a book. A book. And the compass gives us a map. Okay, so I've never really used um, antique antique atlas before. I've I've seen it as a mod in mod packs, but I've never actually used it. So let's see if we can open it. Oh, we can open it, and it populates. Okay, so okay, if I right click, that brings up the atlas here. There's the village. Here's my house. Add marker. Here. Okay, so we give it a label. Home. Sweet. Home. And we give it a type. Bed. Done. Okay. Oh, so you need it in your hand. Yeah, because when you don't have it. So you need it in your hand and you can see where you're going. And you can mark places of interest. Okay, it's not as... It's, it's like a basic journey map, I guess. Let's see what we got this time. Ender Pearl, Blaze Rod, and Ghast here. Those are always good. All right, what's the next quest we can knock out then? Um, we can't do the Destruction Wand yet because we need a bookcase. Uh, Falling with Star, we need a hang glider. That means we need. Let me see. Hang. So we need a left and a right piece and a scaffolding for the middle. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I guess six and six is twelve. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pieces of iron. Okay, well we need to... Chimichanga. Mmm. What is that? Tacos, salsa, cheese, rice, cream. Okay, actually, I need to remember, I need to put on enough space to have a kitchen, because you have cooking for blockheads, which has a proper working kitchen, which is pretty cool. But we need to get iron and clay, because you need terracotta. So yeah, we need uh, leather. Ah, okay. huh, we got enough for... Not even enough for... How else can you get leather in this pack? Just out of interest. Because sometimes there's more than one way to get leather. Um, Imp leather. Oh, we need to go to the nether for that. Rabbit hole. Do they have a quest about going to the nether? To be honest, I really don't know. Um... Peaceful recipes, farming and cooking. Oh, we've got something to... Oh, it's because I completed that by accident. I got the ear of corn I was looking for. And you get 64 potatoes. Did you just walk through me? See, that's why I need to move out. They're ungrateful roommates. Uh, back. Yeah, we need to go to the nether, I think. Decoration station. Oh, this is for making stuff around the house. The little things. Some random small things from various mods. Okay. Modded Minecraft, doggy talents. I don't think there's anything 
really that they want you to go to the nether. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that... There's no specific quest for going to the nether. Is make some obsidian. And you can make obsidian in the Tinker Smeltery. Because at the moment, we don't have access to a diamond pickaxe yet. And I... I don't think I ever mentioned how you would do it. I meant, oh, I'd said about how you would make, actually, I'm not even sure that I said that. You can, you can make smeltery bricks in the, in the smeltery. Instead of making, um, getting grout from sands, clay and gravel, you can just put the cobblestone straight into here and it would make malted, it would make, um, bricks. So if you leave that mole uh, thing in up, and then I need to go and get some. And we really, how do you make a redstone clock? Um, I need redstone, four bits of redstone, redstone torch, that's five pieces of redstone, and four stone. And then we can put in a redstone clock, and then that would, that is, would semi-automate. Has this got wooden hoppers? Wooden, I should have put hopper. And see what comes up. Ah, uh, blaze hopper, grated hopper, a normal hopper. So you make the hopper as you would with iron. Then I need to put the, let's take this out for a second, put down the oak chest uh, onto the side. And then put the table, casting basin, back on top. So now when this pulls, when that pulls in, when it's finished, it should pull it into, yes, it's gone. And it's in here. Brilliant. So now what we need is the redstone clock. So we've got our four stone need a stick to make a redstone torch and then one two three four one two three four redstone clock and what this does is that it will it will send a pulse and it will all it would it will imitate me taking the blocks out of the casting basin and it will pull it out and it'll pull out the liquid, put it in the casting basin, and then the hopper pulls the, the stuff from the casting basin into the um, chest. And then to turn it on and off, I also need a lever. So we want another stick and cobble to make a lever. And then that was one of the reasons why I put um, I put a bit of space between the casting basin and the casting table so that I could put in um, redstone clocks on both and not worry about the redstone signal getting misdirected or anything. All right, so that's that. Now we need to make some obsidian. Do we have enough? I don't think we have enough... Um, enough lava and that's broken but it's retained the the contents okay so I'm back at my lava pit let's go to the smaller one and traditionally you know you just pour on some lava and pour on some water sorry and no right pour on some water and harvest the obsidian but i don't have a diamond pick so this is the next best thing oh you know what i should have checked if they have drums we do we have stone drums that holds how many buckets does it not uh stone drum we need stone slabs and cobblestone that means then i can go down to 
the lava pit and fill it up because it holds I'm not sure how much it holds but I'm pretty sure it holds a decent amount and then um, I don't have to keep running up and down now I need to pour the lava into the smeltery via the drain five and then we need some water and then I pour the water in as well through the smeltery drain the, the black bit and I'm going to need more water but I'll just show you what happens and then I'll do the rest off camera so the lava and the water have have um, combined and made obsidian so we've got two blocks of obsidian so let's turn on our I know we need to put it on we need to put the obsidian onto the bottom so that it will pour out so that would fill up while we're done while we're gone and you see we need three we need three bits of stone to make the stone slabs and then we need six pieces of cobblestone there's one there and now we can make the stone drum I don't know if this is going to be mentioned in any of the other actually we should make two stone drums and then we can have one for water and or we could just have an infinite water source yeah but I could you could have two and also um, extra utilities I think has pipes in it so then we can use we can pipe walk we can pipe lava straight into the into this into the smeltery where am I going this way instead of having to take out the the seared tank all the time um, how many buckets are in there already five buckets oh it holds 16 buckets so I am determined to make it to the nether before the end of the episode and we have we have two in there we have three in there that's five we should have put it over here six seven eight twelve counting with Shane the relaxing video series <laughs> where you learn to count yeah. seven eight nine ten and you can see the obsidian being made through the seared tank which is pretty cool um so let's turn on Oh, we needed one more bucket there so that's 11 blocks to go with our two blocks that are already in there they turn it on why you why don't you want to pour is there a little bit of lava in there 11 blocks That's strange. State is off. Huh. That is very strange. I would have No, I'm I'm not questioning. Let's just leave it to it. Alright, and then let's get ready to go into the nether. Yay! Ice bucket challenge. And here we go. We're in a cave. Okay. Um, does that mean we're under lava? I suspect. Oh my god, are we? We've come down to bedrock level. But that's this is not of I mean usually as the nether goes you'd want a really safe um spawn for the nether fortress 
and this is pretty safe as spores go but it's not yeah I'm not inspired and looking at the map it looks like we spawned under a lava lake and I really don't want to find if we go that way we should reach land and we have ore excavation Dope has not given me um, any ill effects as it would do if I was in an enclosed area unless it counts this as outside I don't know now I know oh those things are getting in my way I know with ore excavation you can change the radius of excavation by pressing the V key it's well the default is V so I could do a 3x3 three three excavation or a 5x5 five five. so if I hold down the excavation key I don't know what I just did because I can't see because of the stupid tendrils oh yeah it did a 5 it did a 3x3 three three. so I guess as long as I aim it at the middle hold down excavate and it will do 3x3 three three. look at the map now we seem to be on the land now so we know there's lava on the left side all right there's soul sand oh that is freaky i didn't know soul sand did that all right we are definitely over land now i know they say never dig straight up but In this case, we are going to need to. I wonder how high we have to dig up though. Oh God, there's lava up there. According to this, there shouldn't be. I think this is line and we're just under one huge lava lake. I think what we might have to do is put a, um, another portal somewhere else well that is a another adventure I didn't expect was going to happen and let's go through yep it's defaulted back to this one never mind I will have to spend some time off camera um finding my way out of that nether because according to the antique map that should have been normal well maybe we need to dig up through the sand no we did that I don't know I really don't know but that's it for today we haven't done as much well we've done quite a lot because we went to the nether twice so and we did we did claim a couple of quests, but I'm going to have to do lots of basic draw, draw controller, draw key. No, I'm going to have to do some mining in between episodes. Lots and lots of mining. Because we need some stuff. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.